football historians may look back at 2023 as the golden age of alternative football. The XFL wrapped up its 3.0 version in May, and the USFL 2.0 in its second season now. All football has a sketchy past, but there have been a few successes and, well, some absolute disasters. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the best attempts in all football. And now my criteria here, these were all traditional outdoor football leagues based in the USA. It's a clear, cold day in Philadelphia for the 1966 championship game of the Continental Football League. The Continental Football League lasted five seasons from 1965 until 1969. At its start, the league tried to really separate itself from the AFL and the NFL by not allowing teams to loan players to those leagues or accepting option players from the AFL or NFL into the league. Jackie Robinson was involved in this league as the general manager of the Brooklyn Dodgers football team, but even his star power was not enough to draw interest. The league is not well known, but did have a few well-known coaches like NFL Hall of Famers Bill Walsh and Doak Walker. First, let's head for Cleveland, where the Cleveland Browns defeated Buffalo to win their third straight All-America Football Conference championship. The All-American Football Conference was an early challenger to the NFL, running four seasons from 1946 to 1949. The Baltimore Colts, San Francisco 49ers, and the champion of the league every year of its existence, the Cleveland Browns, they all joined the NFL. The AAFC's largest legacy may be its stance against racism. The NFL excluded black players until 1945, while the AAFC was not only welcoming black players, but enforcing strict penalties on the field for unsportsmanlike conduct that was deemed racist. The inclusion of black players in the AAFC and the absorption of teams into the NFL, well, that allowed the league to truly become integrated and legitimize black athletes. He was a take charge guy who hated to lose as a friend. And you could be sure that big number 28 would always be in the thick of the action. You may have never heard of the Pacific Coast Professional Football League, but you probably heard of one of its players right here in this video, a guy by the name of Jackie Robinson. The PCPFL operated from 1940 to 1949. Robinson was a running back for the Los Angeles Bulldogs in 1941, six years before breaking the color barrier in Major League Baseball. The league had between four and nine teams throughout its history before the arrival of higher level football. Well, that arrived in L.A., and that lessened the league's popularity. You are looking live at Barcelona, Spain, where American football comes to this country for the first time. The Alt Football League that lasted the longest was actually a spring league sponsored by the NFL. It kicked off as the World League of American Football in 1991. Six teams in the USA, three teams in Europe, and one in Canada truly made it a world league for two seasons. After a two-year hiatus, the WLAF was revived as NFL Europe in 1995 with six teams based in, you got it, Europe. The league later called NFL Europa folded in 2007 when the parent league decided to focus more on bringing actual NFL games to international markets. Well, here they are from New York City, Joe Namath. And from Oakland, California, Daryl LaMonica. The American one, the aerial assaults and colorful characters were rarely seen in the tradition-rich NFL. The AFL forced the NFL to take note. And in 1970, the two leagues merged. The AFL lives on as the American Football Conference in the NFL. Did I miss any or overrank some of these? Probably. Let me know in the comments. So what were some of the worst attempts? I ranked those two. You can check out my other alt football videos right here on my channel.